Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we are discussing about some special cases uh, regarding steady flow energy equation. So, we have steady flow energy equation as H1 plus C1 square by 2 plus GZ1 plus QCV equal to H2 plus C2 square by 2 plus GZ2 plus WCV. Okay. This is the equation for steady flow energy equation which we have derived in our previous video. Put this as equation 1. So, now special cases. First is nozzle. Nozzle is a basically a device which is used to increase the velocity of any fluid. Fluid can be gas or liquid. Suppose this is insulated like this. Okay. Okay. So we are assuming some points conditions so that we can get our required equation. So first is steady flow means the fluid is steady flow. Second, nozzle is insulated, which means QCV is zero. The third point, potential energy change is negligible which means z1 is near but equal to z2 okay so we can say that z1 is equal to z2 and we know wcv is zero for nozzle right so our equation 1 equation 1 becomes h1 plus c1 square by 2 is equal to h2 plus c2 square by 2 this we get when we put these assumptions in equation 1 okay also when C1 is very very less than C2 we can say H1 is equal to H2 plus C2 square by 2 right okay so this is what we get from steady flow energy equation when a nozzle is being used which is insulated and its potential energy change is negligible and when the flow is steady right okay the next is turbine turbine is a device which is used to generate work or power Right, Z1, Z2, say that this turbine is insulated. So again the assumptions will be like this. 
first steady flow second turbine is insulated which means QCV equal to zero third kinetic energy change is negligible which means C1 is equal to C2 fourth potential energy change is negligible which means Z1 equal to Z2. Now, when we got these assumptions, when we put these assumptions in equation 1, equation 1 becomes H1 equal to H2 plus WCV or WCV is equal to H1 minus H2 this is your formula for work done by a turbine so we get this formula from our steady flow energy equation this one ok now the third case which is of compressor you know what compressor is used to produce compressed air and all those stuff which is you can see compressor uh, in your uh, cycle repair shops right where you uh, get compressed air uh, which is used to fill your tires right there you see for compressing we need work so for compressor work is done on the system so work is done on the system means the system which is compressor is not doing the work but work is done on the compressor so that the fluid which can be air or liquid can be compressed so it is like this the design of a compressor is like this suppose this is Z1 this is Z2 oh, no this compressor is uh, insulated again the assumptions will be assumptions first steady flow second compressor is insulated which means QCV is 0 third kinetic energy change is negligible which means C1 equal to C2 fourth potential energy change is negligible which means z1 equal to z2 okay also we know that we know that work cv is negative right 
so our equation one becomes h1 is equal to h2 minus wcv why minus because work is done on the system so wcv is equal to h2 minus h1 this is the equation for compressor taking the following assumptions from your steady flow energy equation these are some special cases of steady flow energy equation